In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to create large-scale real-world cities in Roblox in a matter of seconds. As always, guys, if this video helps you, make sure to like and subscribe and consider becoming a channel member. All right, for this tutorial, you're going to need three different things. You're going to need Roblox Studio, and you're going to also need a free Blender add-on called Blossom and Blender. All these programs are free. Um, if you don't know how to set up Blender or set up Blossom inside of Blender, then check the description. There is a link at the top of the description that will take you to a video showing you guys how to do that. Once you've done that, we can continue. So to start, we're going to want to open up a new Blender file, a new Blender place. And once you're inside, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate your mouse up here to this little arrow icon. Um, you can see it like poking out and you're just going to, uh, going to want to pull this out to open up this menu right here and you're going to have a lot of tabs over here you're going to have item tool view but most importantly you're going to have blossom if you set it up correctly so you're going to select blossom and down here we have a lot of settings and this is what's going to help us create our city and import our city so uh you can ignore basically all of this for now i'll get to that later but all you're going to want to do is go up here under extent and press select and that's going to open up a new tab in your browser it's going to should look something like this like a map of the world um basically uh this is just uh all open street map data that's available to us to use um open street map data if you don't know what that is it's just uh i guess like models 3d rendering whatever images satellite photos of cities and towns across the world. Um, for this tutorial, I'm gonna select New York, but you can select any city or area that you like. Um, once you have your area that you want to import into Roblox Studio, your city, whatever, you're going to want to zoom into it. And once you have the area that you want, you're gonna press show selection triangle. And you're just gonna wanna scale this, uh, oh, sorry, rectangle, show selection rectangle. And you're just gonna want to scale this rectangle to the size of what you wanna import, right? Um, theoretically, there is no max size for this, um, but the larger the rectangle is, the longer it will take to import into Roblox Studio and also Blender. Um, so I would recommend keeping it smaller. So once I have my area selected, I'm just going to press copy right down there, and it's going to copy the coordinates of this. You're just going to close that out, and you're just going to press paste, and it's going to paste those coordinates into the Blossom add-on. So down here into settings, you're going to want to select whatever you want to import under the 3D tab. There's a lot of different options when it comes to importing these cities and whatnot. You can import railways, roads, uh, trees, forests, and water objects. You don't have to import all of these. I'm going to choose to import only buildings just to save time. Um, but again, it works well uh, if you do the other stuff as well. It's really just up to you or what you need. And once you've done that, you're going to want to make sure that this is selected on OpenStreetMap, and you're going to want to press Import. And it'll take a little bit, um, depends how large you made your selection rectangle. Usually it takes between 20-30 seconds, and once it's done, you should have a city readily available. If you zoom out, it might be a little bit clippy like that, that's okay, that's just because your max view isn't set up to handle the size of this render, uh, sorry, not render, of this model. Um, to fix that, you just go up here above Blossom, you press View, and you just press End, um, and you change this number to a large number. doesn't really matter what you change it to. Just change it to, uh, just add a zero or two, and it should work fine. As you can see, our max view is now extended, so we have a great view of our model. Now the next step is going to be to export this into Roblox Studio. This is pretty simple. All you got to do is go up here to File. Select File. Now down here to Export, and select Wavefront OBJ. Click that. And now you're going to want to choose where you're downloading this to. Make sure you know where you're downloading this to so you can find the file when you're importing into Studio. I'm just going to rename this to Download uh, Untitled 55 just so I can identify it. And before you export it, there are a few settings that you want to check down here to make sure the model goes through um, without quality degradation when it's importing to Studio. You're going to need to change the grouping settings down here. Just check all of these every single one down here in grouping, and then export Wavefront OBJ. Now that you've done this, we're gonna open up a new place inside of Roblox Studio. All right, the next steps are simple. All you're gonna have to do is in the Home tab right up here, you're going to find Import 3D, press that, it's gonna open your file folder, and you're gonna find where you put that Blender export. You're gonna select it and you're gonna press Open. And now, again, it depends how large your model is, but after a few seconds, um, it should be ready in this sort of view editor thing. You have a few settings you can change here. Um, I'm just going to leave everything as it is, and I'm just going to press import. And now 
This is going to take a little bit, a few minutes maybe, a few seconds, really just depends again on the size of the model, but eventually this should import fully into Studio. All right, so it took about a minute or two, but here it is, fully imported into Studio, and now I'm just going to scale this up a little bit. Roblox can be annoying with this. There is a uh, like some sort of like max scaling limit for meshes that you can't really get around. Um, but a simple way to, if you want to, for example, make this a one-to-one -one scale model, is just to import small pieces of it and then scale it up accordingly. Um, but for me, this is fine. As you can see, this is looking pretty good, and this only took about a minute to import. Um, now you can kind of just do what you want with this. You can texture it, um, you know, add materials and whatever, just make this look really nice. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If it helped, make sure to like and subscribe. If something went wrong, comment it, uh, comment about it, and I'll try and get back to you. Uh, thank you for watching.